Welcome to my Cuddly Stitches craft channel. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet the first three rounds of my crochet bunny lovey blanket. This is a tutorial that was requested by many of you, so I hope you find it helpful. So let's go ahead and make a start on the blanket by making a magic ring. Wrap the yarn around these two fingers, hold the tail tight with your thumb, go around once and form a cross on the bottom side of your fingers, go around again and hold the yarn under your left thumb tightly. You should have two parallel lines on the top. Insert your hook into the first strand of yarn Grab the second strand of yarn, pull it underneath and twist your hook. Grab the strand of yarn on the top left and pull it through the loop on the hook. OK, you can now slide the yarn off your fingers. So you have now created a magic ring and you can pull on the tail to adjust the size. Continue by chaining 5 stitches. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. The first 3 chains will count as the first double crochet and the next 2 chains will form the first corner space. Next, do three double crochets into the magic ring. So this is your first corner space and this is your first side. Now you will create another corner space by chaining two. And then create another side which is three double crochets into the magic ring again. Continue to create another corner space, so chain 2. And let's just pull on the tail a little bit. And next do 3 double crochets into the magic ring again. Now create the last corner space by chaining two. And because our starting chain counts as one double crochet, you just need to do two double crochets into the ring this time. To close the round you need to slip stitch into the third chain of the starting chain. So that's one, two and three, so this one. If you are struggling to find it then you can count from the other end of the chain and skip the first two chains that will form the corner. So slip stitch into one, two, three. Pull 
pull on the tail tight to close the magic ring. And let's just have a look at what the first round looks like. As you can see, uh, we have already created a little square and each side has one, two and three double crochet stitches. And we have four corner spaces, which gives you 20 stitches in total in this round. Now let's go ahead with round two. Start by chaining five. And do one double crochet into the corner space. And that's your first corner created. Then double crochet into the next three stitches on the side. Now do one double crochet into this corner space. Create new corner space by chaining two. And do one more double crochet into the corner space again. Next, double crochet into the next three stitches. Do one double crochet into the corner space. Create new corner space by chaining two. And do one more double crochet into the corner space. Okay, so you have created another corner. Now double crochet into the next three stitches. Do one double crochet into the corner space. Create new corner space by chaining two. And do one more double crochet into the corner space. Okay, so to finish the last side of this round, you need to double crochet into the next three stitches again. So that's one. Two. And the last one goes here. Close the round by slip stitching into the third chain of the starting chain. So one, two, three. Okay, that looks a bit messy, so let me just do it again. Okay, that's better. And this is what the blanket looks like at the end of round two. 
you should have uh, one, two, three, four, five double crochet stitches on each side plus the four corners which should give you 28 stitches in total. You will start round three by slip stitching into the next chain. So this one. And then chain five. This time you will do two double crochets into the corner space. So that's the first corner created. And the double crochet into the next five stitches. Next, do two double crochets into the corner space. Create a new corner by chaining two. And do two double crochets into the corner space again. And again double crochet into the next five stitches. Be careful because sometimes this stitch hides underneath this double crochet so just watch out for it so you don't miss it. Now do two double crochets into the corner space. Create a new corner by chaining two. And do two double crochets into the corner space again. And again double crochet into the next five stitches. Now do two double crochets into the corner space. Create a new corner by chaining two. 
and do two double crochets into the corner space again. This time double crochet into the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. And the last one will be into this stitch at the base of the starting chain. Okay, so this is the stitch at the base of the starting chain, so that's where you will do the last double crochet. Now again close the round by slip stitching into the third chain of the starting chain. So that's one, two and three, so this one. Okay, so this is what the blanket looks like at the end of round three. You should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine double crochets on each side, plus the four corners, which is 44 stitches in total. If you look, each corner has one, two crochets, two chains, and one, two double crochets. And this is what the corners will look like in each round going forward. This is also the same for the corner where we connect the rounds. So you have one and two, two chains and one and two. As the starting chain counts as double crochet, so it's coupled with the stitch next to it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, Please give me thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to receive an update when I add a new video. Thank you for watching.